they're good looking. So guess what video you just clicked on? One that is gonna burn a ton of calories as well as work every muscle in your body, including your core. And I know there's more. We're going to work mobility. Pretty cool, right? Welcome to one of my metabolic workouts. Now you need some tools for this workout. You need a chair, or you can also use your couch or coffee table and a pair of moderate dumbbells. Now let's go get warmed up. Hello there. Hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com. And hey, listen, I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s. So if you're over 40 and you want more fit tips, videos, and workouts specific for you, click that subscribe button. Now we're going to get right into the warm up. As we warm up, I'll chat about the workout. And I promise you, you are going to have a good time. Yes? Awesome. So let's start down on the ground. As I mentioned, we're going to work mobility too through the warm up as well as into the workout. So let's start with a mobility drill here for the hips and thoracic spine. Now give me a bridge, lift the hips up. Now take the right arm, reach across on a diagonal, touch that mat, lower down, hips lift, left arm reaches up. So as we reach up on that diagonal plane, we're working into your shoulder as well as T-spine extension and rotation, which tends to stiffen up as we age and can cause havoc in the shoulders and the neck. In fact, it can also cause havoc to the low back because where this area of our spine should be mobile, the low back should be stable. And if this is what's supposed to be mobile, mobile, Hopefully I'm making sense. If it's stiff, then unfortunately the low back will compensate. And that's the area that should be stable. So we should have a lot of movement in this area of the spine. Last four, three, push through those heels, bum up, two, and one. Come into a seated position, 90-90 drill for the hips, front Shin lines up at the front of your mat, back knee and hip align, back ankle and knee align. So take a look at that. Now from here, you can place your hands behind, keep the feet on the ground and just windshield wiper the knees to the other side. Twist your body towards that front shin. And if you want to, take the arms up. Now let's add a bow to that front leg and go. So if you're having a hard time, Getting those legs up, keep those hands behind you. Okay, I always start with that first level that I show when we do the workouts, and then from there progress. So this is a great drill to get deep into the hips. I've also seen a lot of success with people who implement this on a regular basis, and they've seen their low back pain lessen or even downright diminish. So, heck, why not? Feels good, let's do it. Now you're gonna travel with this. I'm already traveling towards you in the camera. <laughs> One more each side. Good job. And come on up. All right, get into the shoulders some more here. Big arm circles, abs engaged. So this is a metabolic workout. All that means is that we use as many muscles as we can in each individual exercise to get the most calorie burn. So normally we want to drop our dumbbells down a size from what we normally use for regular strength workouts because this is moving fast and we're hitting a lot of muscles. So I'm using a pair of 15s for this workout. And that's what I'm considering my moderate. I may regret that third round in, but hey, I'm stuck with them now. Last three, two, one. Now, bring the arms out so they're level with the ground, palms down, feet shoulder width apart, push the bum back, keep the arms elevated. Now come up and lift off the heels. Perfect. Knees track with the toes, warming up into the ankles, hips, and knees. Hope you're having a good day. We're having a pretty good day over here in the Fitness with PJ headquarters. <laughs> My team is here. I got one dog sleeping directly behind the camera and another dog sleeping right over here. Whether or not they come visit us during this workout, who knows? Last three, two, one, good job. Feet together, we're taking it into a jumping jack. It looks like this, a low impact, looks like this. Go, land soft, open up those legs, warming up the outer hip. 
getting the heart rate up there. So we start with a Tabata, and then we move into a dumbbell metabolic hit, and then we end with the Tabata. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> no, trust me, you're gonna love it. You will. Good, remember you've got that low impact option. And if you're new to my workouts, I always show different options. Doesn't matter what level you're on. I am the queen of modifications. 10 seconds. And shake it out. All right. If you need a quick sip of water, hey, go for it now. We're gonna start with that first Tabata. Okay, we'll start with the first Tabata. Um, not jumping, and then I'll show you how to ramp it up if you wanna do the jumping, okay? So it's simple. You're gonna mirror me. So I'm lifting my left, you'll be lifting your right. Knee comes up, and then we externally rotate and knee comes up, okay? So we're working that hip mobility, and then, if we want, we can add that hop, okay? 20 seconds, then the other leg, and we switch through that eight rounds. Yes? Of course, yes. What else are you gonna do? Come on. All right, so let's start out with the knee up and then externally rotate. Good. So just get that rhythm, and then from there, if you wanna add the hop, okay? Add the hop, good. Really externally rotate that we wanna work into that hip mobility while we're driving the heart rate up there, time. All right, we march it out for the 10 seconds. And then, you got it, other leg. So we'll start with the no bounce, okay? Get that first, you ready? Knee up, externally. Knee up, external. Up, up, good. As the knee comes forward, the opposite arm drives forward. Okay, yes. Good. So you choose, bounce or no bounce, time. March it out. All right, you got this. You know what we're doing now. Here we go, other leg, round three of eight. Start with knee in front, go up, up, up. Now you can pick it up if you like, because you're getting used to the move. Yeah, baby. Chest up, head up, breathe. Time, march it out, march it out. Always moving, always moving. Come on, I got you here. We're not gonna stop moving until we're done. Ready, round four, go. Up, up. And then once you got it, see if you can pick it up, woo. Don't think about it too much or you'll lose your rhythm. Time, march it out. That calf on that supporting leg should be screaming at you right now. Okay, we're halfway, no problem. You ready? Start with knee center, go up, up. Drive those arms. You got it, come on, up. Yes, baby. Are you breathing? Yeah, I just thought I'd check in, okay? March it out, march it out. Okay, here we go. Start with the knee up, opposite arm drives forward. Up, up. You're gonna find one side more coordinated too. This is my uncoordinated side. I gotta really think about those first few. <laughs> Low impact, low impact, okay, time. March it out. Low impact's really gonna challenge the balance too, which is always a good thing. All right, one more each leg, you ready? Set, go, hop. So there's a few things that we lose as we get older. One is our balance, two is our mind. <laughs> I can help you with your balance. You're on your own for your mind. Time. Mind you, I kind of like losing my mind. 
I just blame everything. Oh, menopausal moment. Everything. <laughs> Ready? Go. Last 20 seconds. Are we still externally rotating that knee? Come on. Let's do it. I want to see the inside of your knee. Come on. Up. Good. Woo. Good times. This is our last one. Time. Nicely done. All right, we need the chair, we need the dumbbells. We have three rounds. I'm gonna change the clock to 30 seconds. I know I'm bossy pants today, aren't I? Actually, <laughs> for those of you who've been with me for a while, I'm bossy pants every workout. You know it. Okay, we're gonna start with the chair and then we'll kick it out of the way. We're working, as I said, as many different joints as we can in this strength training series to get two things happening here. To burn as many calories by keeping the heart rate up, all right, and work our core, because of course, going to need to stabilize for all of these. All right, so um, hold on one second. George, don't do that. He's eating his bed. He's already ate half of it. So we're gonna put the back leg up, holding on to the dumbbells, softness in the working leg, and then you simply just push the bum back, let the dumbbells come forward, or maybe you're gonna do no dumbbells to modify, okay? All right, even if you have osteoporosis in the spine, you can still do this, just don't use dumbbells. All right, because you're maintaining neutral spine. All right, I know there's a number of you that do message me asking me about that hip hinge with osteoporosis, and it is fine as long as you maintain neutral. Now we got a bunch of other exercises, but hey, we'll learn them as we go. So here's a scoop so that we're all on the same leg. Let's have the left foot on the ground, right laces on the top of your chair, couch, or coffee table. Dumbbells in hand, or maybe one dumbbell or no dumbbell, your choice. Are you set up? Yes, okay, cool, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna bend my left knee just a bit, and then from there I push my hips back, and then I push through the heel and drive up. So where do you wanna feel this? Well, you wanna feel it in that hamstring on that left leg, okay? Feel it in the glute. It's a really amazing exercise right here for the posterior chain of the body without any stress to the low back, like a traditional deadlift can do. Time. All right, other side. Now here's the scoop though. If you have SI joint problems, get rid of that move. Go and do single leg bridges, okay? For SI joint issues only. There we go. That's how I roll here. <laughs> So now the right knee's got some softness to it. It's not locked out. We're gonna bend it a tiny bit, and then from there, all the movement comes through the hips. As we push the bum back, dumbbells stay close to the body. Good. We're dropping down onto all fours. Time right here. Keep your dumbbells close by. You can push that chair away. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Tuck the toes under, and lift the knees up and hold. Now from this position, if you're able to, tap the opposite shoulder without shifting the hips too much. If that's not available to you, can you tap the wrist? If you need a break, drop the knees down, okay? This is gonna hit your core in addition to your quads, which kind of got a bit of a work with the last move, but last move was definitely more hamstrings. So I wanted to hit the quads, so here we go. Time. Grab your dumbbells, get in a bridge position, chest press. Elbows lined up with the shoulders, wrists over the elbows, and then slide the elbows a little closer to the body. Press the dumbbells straight up, touch above the chest, and lower down. Good job. So working into the chest, shoulders, and triceps, and then with our bridge pattern, we also get the glutes and hamstrings and low back involved. When the timer goes, flip onto your stomach. No dumbbells are needed. We're gonna work your posture muscles in a really cool move called IYT. I know, <laughs> super sexy name, huh? Time. All right, tuck your toes in. Extend your arms straight up ahead of you, thumbs up. Keep the chest to the ground and just lift the arms up. So there's your eye. 
Now bring your arms apart so they kind of make the letter V or Y lift up, leading with the thumbs. Now slide the hands so they're lined up with the shoulders. Thumbs up, hand lift up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. My toes are tucked in. I neutralizing the pelvis. Y, I'm keeping my chest on the ground. We just want to move through the shoulders here, you guys, not lift the chest up with the arms. So be aware that you're not doing that. Time. Standing. I know, a lot going on, but we get to do this a few rounds, so curl to press. So abs engage, curl, turn the palms to me, shoulder press, good, lower down. Now to modify, do one arm at a time, okay? So you choose. So those are our moves, yes? No problem. We go back to that single leg deadlift with our leg on the back of our chair or on the top of our chair, couch, coffee table, whatever you're using. Time. Okay. So remember, we start with the left foot on the ground. Right leg is up, lace is resting. Now, push the bum back, knee soft, press up. If you have SI joint problems, what are you doing? Not this, remember, you're doing one-legged bridges. Good. Woo, baby. You feel that in that left glute, left hamstring? <laughs> Come down a little lower if you don't, or grab heavier dumbbells, time. We got 10 second transition. All right, find your balance, focus your stare on something stationary, go. Softness in that right knee now. Abs engaged, neutral spine. We move into the bear taps, coming up. You'll feel this one tomorrow. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Time. All right, dumbbells to the side because we're gonna need them for the chest press. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, tuck the toes under, lift the knees a couple inches off your ground. Stay here or tap the opposite shoulder or maybe try tapping the wrist. Try to stay elevated for the full 30 seconds. You've got that option. You can always go down to knees on the ground to give your wrists a break. If it's just getting too much and then boom, get back up there, okay? Chest press with the dumbbells coming up. Time. All right, dumbbell in each hand. Knees bent, legs good. Bum up and go. Press, dumbbells. Touch center of the chest, not above the head. Take a peek. Elbows are lined up with the shoulders or slightly in front of the shoulders. Okay, and that's gonna place the shoulder in a better positioning. Always play around with where the elbows are on this one so the shoulders feel good. Onto our stomachs for I, Y, T coming up. Time, all right. So flatten yourself up. Tuck the toes under, grip into the ground with the toes. Extend the arms, thumbs up, chin in. I, Y, thumbs leading, T, good. I, don't lift through your low back, you're lifting through the shoulders. So chest should stay on your ground, chin tucked in, staring down at your mat once you've seen me. And breathe, yeah? It's always good. Standing for curls and presses coming up. This is a good posture move right here. Time. All right. Now, if you find the dumbbells just too heavy for the curl and press, guess what? We can do one, yeah? So curl and press. Yes, perfect. You also have the option to do the one leg or one arm at a time. Get my body parts mixed up. Okay, so we got one more to go, you guys, okay? One more round to go. 
Leg up deadlifts coming up. Time. All right, so I'm moving my chair in. Start with the left leg on the ground, right laces on your chair. Ready, soften the knees, push the bum back. Drive through that heel and come on up. Once again, you want to feel that in that hamstring and glute. If it doesn't feel good, take it down to those one-legged bridges I demoed in round one. Time. Whew. All right, let's get ourselves set up. Other side. Softness in the knee. Ready, set, and go. Push the bum back a bit. Nice. Push through that right heel. Feel that right back side of the body working. Taking it down on all fours for our next move. Oh my goodness, <laughs> 15 pounds is aggressive with this move. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Time. All right, keep the dumbbells, but place them just on each side of the mat, okay? Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Lift the hips up, and then if you can, tap wrists or advanced shoulders. Intermediates, you should be able to do this too. If you've been with me for a while, you should be able to do this. You don't know till you try, okay? Chest press coming up. Keep those knees under the hips. Take a peek. You don't want those knees coming too far off the ground. It's just a hover time. Here we go. Bridge, elbows slightly in front of the shoulders, wrists over elbows, go press. This exercise too is a great exercise sub. If you're doing other workouts and they start doing push-ups and you're just not a fan of them or they hurt the wrists or shoulders, grab a pair of dumbbells and do this. Same upper body muscles involved, less core, but if we get the hips up, then we'll get into the glutes too. Time. All right, IYT, so stomach, tuck the toes in. Arms extend straight up, thumbs up, chin in, chest on the ground, go. Lift the arms up, letter Y, lift them up, letter T, thumbs are still pointed up to your ceiling, and lift. Nice. See if you can keep those elbows fairly straight. And again, I can't stress this enough, we're not lifting up in the low back, we're lifting through the shoulders. Tighten up the booty. Nicely done. Time. Curl to press. You choose which option you want. All right, abs engage. Whew. Ready? Here we go. Curl and press. Quick water after this, and then we finish off with another Tabata. Those abs engaged. Time. Woo. All right. Nicely done. All right. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. We don't need any equipment for this. I wouldn't have a big chug. It never feels good when we're doing cardio. And that's what we're about to move into. But wet your whistle. We have two moves, eight rounds, and then we stretch. Or I will connect a cool abdominal workout. You got, you got to watch to the very, very end. So the last 15 seconds of this workout and um, I'll connect a cool ab workout that you can add on. All right, so we start out with star jacks. Land soft 
And if you're like, holy crap, PJ, there is no effing way. <laughs> All right, I want you to give me a gate swing instead. So there's your low impact version, okay? <laughs> I know, star jacks isn't for everyone. And then from there, we're doing a knee up. Chest up, knees up, okay? Low impact, all right? That one's gonna test our sports bras, so you can let me know after we're done. Here we go, star jacks or gate swing. So you're stepping out wide, knees track with toes, head up, chest up, ready? Good, good, reset, go. So star jack, good. This one's fatiguing. I thought we would end with a bang. No fizzle here. We're all about the bang. Time, Whew. pace yourself on that one. March it out in those 10 seconds. High knees, high or low impact. Your choice, ready, set, go. Now drive those knees up, drive those arms. Come on, lean back, let's go. Up, up. Don't be giving me this, okay? Don't be giving me that. I'll find you. I want knees up, knees up, knees up. Okay, time. All right, here we go. Round three, star jacks or gate swings. Ready, set, go. So we land soft, feet together. Knees will bend a bit to help propel ourselves back up. Time, okay. I see Amazon coming to the door, so just heads up, the dog's gonna be barking. All right, ready? High knees, get set, go. Chest up, knees up, lean back a bit. Come on, good, go, go. I'm surprised my dogs didn't bark. Time, march it out. Maybe all that money I've spent on dog training is starting to pay off. Hey, George. <laughs> All right, we're halfway. Star jacks or gate swings, go. Time, whoo. Oh, yeah, that one is tough. Okay, high knees. Ready, sit, go. Use the arms, okay? You gotta use those arms. Opposite knee, opposite arm. Let's go, up, up. This is not the rest, all right? You can rest it a bit, but not with this move. Come on. Time, all right. I told you I'm bossy pants today. Got my trainer hat on. Star jacks, last time. Go. So I'm trying to hit seven reps each round. There's seven. Woo, I got one more in, yeah. Okay. This is it, final 20 seconds, and then we're done. You ready? Set, go. Smile, come on, you showed up for this, let's finish strong. Remember, no fizzle. Let's go. Up, up. Time, woo. All right, yeah. Even George showed up, he's so damn excited. Hey buddy, all right. We need to cool you down and then we will stretch you out. So keep moving those feet. All right, march it out. Take a look at that heart rate, oh yeah. Love it, I love it. If you don't have a heart rate monitor, I highly recommend it. Um, just give you some great feedback as to whether or not you can push yourself a bit harder. 
All right. I have an eye wash so I can keep track of my activity for the day. And it gives me little rings of success. And yeah, it's just another motivator. Okay, now let's take the toe and just tap it side to side, okay? We need to get the heart rates down a bit. We'll do some standing stretches. And then, as I said, stay to the very end. The very end. So don't leave a comment saying, PJ, I didn't see the workout. You got to stay to the end, sister. <laughs> and I'll add that ab workout that would fit in really nicely with this guy. Good. Just tapping it. Nice. Four more. And three, two, and one. Here we go, feet apart, bend the knees, inhale. Exhale, arms just float down. Yes, let's do three more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, big breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale, exhale. Take the hands, interlace them behind the head, pull the elbows back, lean back a little bit. We're opening up the front of the body. Nice stretch for the chest. So as we stretch, I got a few things I wanna talk about. First off, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I would love the opportunity to keep working with you. Second, whew, release down. Let's use the chair, okay? can use it for some support. Heel up, get into the quad, knee lines up at the hip and then squeeze the bum and really feel that release in the quadricep. Now, if heel to bum isn't available to you, grab onto your pant leg, your sock, or get an old necktie or bathrobe tie because you're at home, so just push pause and you can wrap that around and use that like a yoga tie. All right, second. If you've been to the workouts, hey, come and join us on Patreon if you're not already there. First, you get a ton of exclusive perks and benefits only available to that community. And second, it's due to that community that we can keep these workouts going. So if you do them a few times a month, then hey, help contribute, help us to keep these workouts going. All the information's down there in the description and those that join full community status, as I said, get a ton of added perks and benefits. Now take this leg that we're stretching, place it behind the body, okay? Foot in a straight line, lunge into it and get that stretch into the calf. Whew. And then finally, if you enjoyed the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, there's another thumb there that you can push. <laughs> they should have the middle finger, shouldn't they? <laughs> no, that's rude. <laughs> All right, heel up. Even though I've always wondered why people do the thumbs down. Like, why? Just move on. You didn't like it. it it's a free workout. Just move on. <laughs> but no, everybody's got to have their opinion. <laughs> All right, George. George and I are back in dog obedience again. We keep doing it. It's good bonding. And just like showing up with a trainer like me to work out, right? If you didn't show up, you might not do it. Kind of me with dog training. If I don't show up, I'm not gonna do it. Let's take the leg behind. And he's a young shepherd and they need, to, they need the discipline. He's an orangutan, <laughs> so he definitely needs the discipline. Very smart dog, but he's still, he's not even, he's just a year and a half, not even. All right, let's get into the hamstrings. This is a nice stretch. Heel up, push the hips back, lean into it. Hand's gonna rest on the top of the thigh. Anyways, I have no idea where I was going with that. <laughs> just thought I'd mention it. This is what happens when you film by yourself, well, sorry, George, with your dog in your home with nobody around. I can talk to you. I feel like you're listening. I hope you are. All right, let's do the other side. Push the bum back. Oh, feels good, huh? Oh, yeah, that's because of those leg up deadlifts, which FYI, you might feel tomorrow. 
All right, final stretch, seated. So if you have a chair, it's preferable. You wanna be a little higher up. A couch will still get a stretch, but a chair, you'll get a better stretch, okay? I'm sitting on the edge, right ankle on top of my thigh, other ankle under the knee, sit up nice and tall. Now from here, this may be enough of a stretch for you in that glute and hip area here. If you want more, hands in front of the shin, hip hinge forward, so I'm not rounding the back. Okay, so I've got nothing happening in the spine like that. All right, I want to lean forward, leading with the chest and lean from my hip. So we're getting into the piriformis here, into the glute. So this is a nice stretch. If you are one of those that do suffer from SI joint problems, this guy's gonna feel good for you. If you do suffer from SI joint, I do have a workout specific for people who are experiencing SI joint issues and you still want to get a good workout in. And release, other side. And if you just go on the YouTube channel on mine specifically and just in the search bar, SI joint, it'll pop up for you. As well as I have a ton of fit tips which I lead you through measuring the mobility of important areas of our body, like the T-spine, how we started with the warm-up, in addition to ankle, shoulder, and release. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it and I hope I get to see you again. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.